call them Wedgwood blues. Wedgwood blues. Yes, the deep, dark blues. That was an old saying from Richard Watt from the Canton Barn. Rest his, God rest his soul. Uh, New Britain, Hartford, you've got these darker, deeper blues. This is where the snow is filling in and falling once again all the way up into Enfield. Good morning to you. And we'll take you right now down through Middletown, Southington, Waterbury, Cromwell. Right here in Rocky Hill, the snow continues to come down. And we'll move you up a little bit further to the north. You've got Enfield, Bradley, uh, about 20% of the departures were canceled this morning. Just call your airline to find out what's going on. They're doing a great job up there, but you know, you get that heavy wet snow and it is a little bit of compromise, okay? Visibility is down. If you're going to be driving, we're going to ask that you exercise a lot of caution out there, okay? We have one mile in Willimantic, three quarters of a mile at Brainerd, half a mile at Bradley, and then you move towards the shoreline where there's not that much in the way of snow and you've got better, better visibility, not a lot falling out there right now, but five in Groton, five miles there, eight in Chester. That's good. So all on the shoreline, we're doing a whole lot better and the coastal flood of Now, Kara, I want you to look at this picture. This is a live picture. Is this not a winter winter wonderland? This is Torrington. This yes, is it Torrington. Looks beautiful. Isn't that apt? But again, you'll notice just a little bit of the asphalt showing. You've uh -huh. got those secondary and tertiary roads covered, but so picturesque this morning. It really is a beautiful, beautiful eye cam there in Torrington. And then Bradley, where I just showed you the visibility, is really down. You can see one of the FedEx planes there, 28, with a wind out of the north at 13 this morning. So you've got some poor visibility at Bradley. Keep we that in mind. A lot of delays right now. A lot of delays? A lot of delays. A lot, okay, Kate's letting us know about a lot of delays coming out of Bradley. So we'll have more information on that coming up in just a bit. All right, here's a look at First Alert Future it is tomorrow's weather today. You'll notice the snow with us. It's still with us at noon, filling back in, and then it winds down by 2, 3, 4 o'clock. We should start to see the snow shutting down. We'll be left with mostly cloudy skies for the remainder of the day. Tonight, there actually might even be some partial clearing, and tomorrow we get a break. We finally get a break from the action before another storm system rolls in Tuesday into Wednesday. And that looks like an inside runner. What that means is the storm system goes to our west. And that means warmer air starts pulling in, and that means it'll be rain on top of the melting snow. So there could be some flooding concerns Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Of course, we'll be here to get you through that storm as well. This is tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m., so we're doing pretty good. Now, in terms of additional snowfall, this is what you can expect, 1.6 in water. But, you know, this, these are averages. So, you know, anywhere from 1 to 2, maybe an additional 3-inch total up in Enfield. You've got an additional inch or so. So don't expect too much more along the shoreline. Uh, but nonetheless, this is on top of what we've already gotten. So here's the seven day forecast. We're talking about 32. The temperatures dropping through the day today. And it's going to be a chilly night tonight. OK, we're calling for an overnight low of 21. That's a statewide average. So a lot of towns in northwest and northeast Connecticut are going to be dropping into the teens. Chilly night. That means anything standing, any slush, anything that you didn't get cleared up is going to have an opportunity to freeze up. All right, 36, beautiful day tomorrow, another day to clean things up. And then the mixed rain starts with wind late. 37, look at that rise in temperature. It's going to be 54 degrees here on Wednesday. That means rain and wind in the morning, uh, departing in the afternoon. Thursday and Friday look good. And then another storm system with a temperature of 47. That comes on Saturday. And we have plenty of time to fine tune that forecast. So we'll get to that in the coming days. But just giving you a little first alert that Saturday could be a little troublesome as well with uh, rain with a temperature of 47 degrees. But a lot of time to fine tune that forecast. All right, I'll be back in just a bit with another update. In the meantime, ladies, we'll send it back to you. All right, Scott, thanks. And